that's out. We missed. We missed right, and we're throwing logs already. So. Hey guys, back again, Eric Harmson, Team Rex. And today we have a great bowling ball review for you with the Hammer Effect. Now this ball has all the technology available to hammer and it shows. I'll be honest with you, this definitely doesn't roll like any other hammer ball I've thrown before. Let's take it to the lanes and show you exactly what I'm talking about with this Hammer Effect. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below and we appreciate all the support. Let's see you soon. All right, let's throw that first shot with a Hammer Effect. Try and roll this over 15. Wow, okay. That's an interesting shape. Smile on my face on that one. I did not expect that. I did not expect that to be that quick off the spot and that continuous. Do the same thing over 15 again. Try and get that same reaction. That's out. We missed. We missed right and we're throwing logs already. So I think Hammer might be onto something with this one, guys. I missed right by a fair amount there. That ball had no problem still coming off the spot, still getting through the rack. Ooh. Same thing again, 15. Missed right again. Okay, not bad. Again, that ball is coming off the spot very, very quickly, very hard. It's definitely a reaction better than I've seen from, I'll say any hammer ball so far. Good colors. So this is a first four color ball. Looks pretty sharp. It's nice they took all the uh, high player colors, so to speak, put them into one ball. And we're inside. We're still almost struck, missing a good amount inside. has got uh, new cohesion with HK, new technology for hammer to bring out on a ball. Fifteen, let's actually try and hit it. Looks better. Got to start moving. That ball is strong. We're going to make a simple two and two move left. Let's see if we can't find home again. If you're looking for a ball, it's definitely going to get noticed on the lane. The logos on this are that hot pink, really stand out. Ball's got great shelf appeal as well. Again, let's make that two and two at about 17 at the arrows. We missed in a big amount. It's always good when you're doing a review to actually hit what you're looking at. We are definitely missing today. But again, left me a makeable spare. Nothing crazy there. <clears throat> Ball didn't overhook off that friction. It was still pretty nice and controllable even when I missed in. Much better shot. 10 back. Great look, great look. I think this hammer effect, guys, is going to be, uh, I've heard Nick Smith say, Brunsnick already say, 
He's calling this ball of the year for 2024. We're in March. That's a pretty bold statement. I can't say at this point after a handful of shots that I really disagree with him. Um, rolls very good. Again, you can really tell the new technology that they're putting into these balls. It's very apparent that they're putting that technology in and it's definitely showing. Again, this ball has all the bells and whistles that uh, Hammer has to offer. Let's continue moving left for the sake of it's always fun to move left. Let's get into about 20 at the arrows. Still no problem. All right, let's throw one more shot, guys, and then we'll wrap it up here for the all new hammer effect. Get your pre-orders in on this one. You are not gonna wanna miss this. I uh, already have a good feeling that there's going to be several of these on every rack and league tournaments for the rest of this year. Let's stay right around 20 again at the arrows here. Throw one last shot with this hammer effect. Whew, wow. Man, I'll tell you what. I really like what I'm seeing out of here. So we've got a lot more reviews coming, guys. Appreciate everybody liking and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.